Jen Swinnerwood here with Midnight Arts. Um, I am uh, going to try to make a um, peacock painting, and I already started here. This is just this has just got a cover of gesso on this canvas, and I don't know if you can see, but I have an outline of a peacock in there. I'm not really going to paint. Um, I'm not going to really worry about keeping it within the lines because I'm going to do a swipe over it. Um, so what I'm going to do, sorry I'm trying to get the volume to go down, it's echoing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to paint this um, blue, not worry about staying in the lines, this uh, Ultra, this Deco Art Extreme Sheen, and I have not mixed this with anything, this is just paint. And I'm going to um, paint it on, and then I'm going to um, just put paint on here, um, kind of maybe like um, peacock feathers. Um, oh, well, first I'm going to then take this over top of what I painted after it dries, let it dry. Put this over top of it um, and then uh, do a swipe with peacock colors so that they'll hopefully um, resemble the peacock. <laughs> um, I have no idea how this is going to work. I think it was Crafty Jen that I saw one do that something similar to this, she, um, she does her swipes a little bit different um, in that she puts the, well, I can't remember, um, she paints in the, the thing after. She puts a mask on there um, and does the swipe and then um, paints on the whatever figure it is that she wants on there, she paints it on after uh, after she removes the, the mask. She does um, a lot of uh, vinyl with her Cricut that she puts on there. Okay, so I think that's probably maybe just a little bit further down, but uh, it's all going to be covered with a swipe anyway. So. I take the uh, this is just masking tape it's just masking tape that they put that on it I'm gonna stick it down um, I will put it down and then I will put uh, around the edges of where it's stuck down I will um, put some more of this color so that if any of the paint seeps underneath the masking tape it'll be this color Alright, so I think that's probably good enough. Um, I don't know exactly where my swipe is going to start, but um, uh, this is quite a bit bigger than what I really wanted. I'll probably cut that down quite a bit. Let's see. Maybe yeah, we'll go ahead and put some more, a little bit more on there. Probably will have to do this again because I can see that it's every place I start my brush is kind of making a bit of mark there. So probably after I get done with the swipe, I'll have to do one more coat of of this um, extreme sheen. Would like to have the aqua too because I think a little bit of aqua in there would be pretty, but. I don't have the, the Extreme Sheen Aqua Paint, so I'll so do that. I'm kind of taking it off here a little bit. A lot there, right there. Now, the more I try to brush it on, the more it's taking the paint off. So um, that's good enough for now. We'll let that dry and. Uh, then I'll come back and uh, try to do my swipe. Hopefully it works. <laughs> okay. I, I will be back shortly.
Okay, so um, I put the, the mask on and painted around the edge so hopefully if anything goes underneath there it'll be this color that I painted it with which is the um, sorry, Deco Art Extreme Sheen uh, Metallic Sapphire. Um, I really don't even know where to start here. Um, I, I just had the idea to put the colors down kind of uh, like, like they're in a peacock feather and then swipe over them. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of room here tonight because I've mixed up some new paints and stuff so I don't know if I'll be able to really get a whole lot done. Um, anyway, so I have uh, Master's Touch Gold that I'll be using, um, Sargent's Art Grass Green, it calls for emerald but I don't have emerald green, um, Apple Barrel Turquoise, um, Violet, uh, I can't remember what they, what purple they act. I looked on the internet to see what colors peacock feathers are. Um, I can't remember what it said. Plum, plum purple or something like that. I didn't have that. Uh, oh, and then of course the sapphire. I don't know if I'll put any of this metallic ice blue in there or not. It really only calls for just these five colors. For anything that I saw on, uh, on the internet for doing it. I, I don't know how to start, I guess. Um, I guess I'll just put the, put the colors on and, and then just swipe over them and hopefully it'll resemble something like a peacock. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I think the purple's what's in the center of feathers. I don't know if that's what's in the center or not. I really should, I guess, maybe swipe from the center out, going away from the bird. I don't know. <laughs> No, I forgot this part's not doesn't have a mask on it, so it's got to have some of this in there. I did not put. Um, I'm painting it right on the the black uh, gesso canvas. Um, I did not put any uh, base coat down on it. I don't really want a lot of color on uh, on it. Probably should have done the emerald green. Okay, I got a big old chunk of paint out of there. So it wasn't gonna out easily and so right now I'm gonna first I put I'm gonna put my gloves back on oh, well, maybe get some gloves out of the box oh, look at that they all came out in a big old chunk <laughs> coming down to the end of the box I don't know if it is because there's so much too big too big for me then I can go get some new ones but it's kind of bad because right now I don't have money for new ones so I don't know if that'll be a good good thing to have the box run out or not I don't think it has another clog in there I was
those very good circles there. Sloppy peacock feathers. Hopefully going to be a Christmas gift. I don't know when you're doing this. By the time I get it on there, it'll probably be July or or later. Oh, I missed some over here. By the time I finally get this on. I like the blues better, so of course I like to make my peacock blue. Most of the pictures I looked up, um, they do have a lot of green on them. I wish I had some emerald green. I wish I had some um, uh, metallic emerald green. Some of the blue is the background. I kind of want to fill in these places, and I, I don't know how well it'll fill in. I, oh, this is that same turquoise again that's clocked up. I might have to just take the whole thing out and strain it when I get done with this picture. So it must have lumps all the way through it. Yeah, there's another big one in there. I also don't know whether to swipe from this side up or from the top of the bird down. Feathers, peacock feathers go this way, so I'm thinking that I will swipe up. Yeah, I think probably I'll swipe up. I actually should have put, painted the whole background instead of having it black. I should have painted it all that beautiful uh, metallic sapphire because that is so pretty. All right, probably have a little bit too much gold in, in there on these spots. are probably too big. But, um, a lot of paint on there. Uh, let's see. I think I am going to give myself a little bit more room down here at the bottom some of these things over here. Get out of the way. I don't know how to swipe with um, uh, people use the little the plastic off the front of the uh, paintings, uh, the canvases. Kind of use those to swipe with. I've always I, the only thing I've ever swiped with is a uh, wet paper towel. I just don't know that I can get a wet paper towel to go all the way across. I think I'm going to swipe this way. Okay, oh, I hope this turns out. I want it to be so pretty for my daughter. I've had trouble with the wet paper towels <laughs> flopping down into the painting, the top part. Not the part I'm trying to drag, but the top part flopping down into the painting. Um, I didn't like that very well. This is going to be some pretty colors, so I'm thinking maybe 
I will put some tile down here to drop the um, paper towel in on. What is this stuff called? Parchment paper. My parchment paper doesn't go up as high as this, as high as the top of this. Canvas. All right, so maybe I'll put two swipe colors down there. Maybe I'll put some of this purple down here. Can't even see it. Okay. Put some purple down there. can handle this paper towel that long. Well, I have a lot of blank spots in this one. Mm. Might have to swipe it again. Fill in some of these spots and then at <laughs> the cap on. <laughs> Although I guess it wouldn't have been too bad having the black spots on there. Okay guys, I don't know. I think I'm going to swipe it again. I hope it doesn't totally destroy it. Well, there's nothing that looks like <laughs> like a peacock feather in there but it does have the peacock colors um, so hopefully it will be good and even see this part this bare spot here Yeah, I can see that I should have done put more of the purple. Um, put, should have put more of the purple in here, filled it in more with the purple to bring that the, those bright colors out. Because at the top I don't have those colors like I do it down here at the bottom. Uh, but I think it. I think the colors are pretty. I think it's going to work out okay. Not quite the way I envisioned it. I don't have any cells coming up right here. Try the heat gonna got to turn my lights on. Okay. So I will set this aside. Um, I've got to do a couple of feather paintings also for um, for Christmas gifts. So I will set this peacock aside and uh, let it dry and maybe we'll come back and do some feathers. Maybe I might have to do those a different day. But uh, anyway, <laughs> you know, I do that so silly. Lift that up and play with the end and then 
mess up all my cells down there that were so pretty. Okay. All right, so we will, um, I will set this aside and let it dry and then hopefully I'll be able to get this, the mask out of there. Um, once it's dry, hopefully I'll be able to get it out without too much trouble, I don't know. So, all right, thank you so much for watching. Please uh, subscribe, like, and share. And please come back and join me again for another video at another time. And, um, and please have a great night.